see how this would be very addicting and um, just be warned it's going to be addicting I What's going on everybody? This is Urban J Reviews and today we're going to unbox the Oculus Quest 2. Yeah, so you can see introducing Oculus Quest 2. This is a Facebook product. But look how you use it. So we're thinking about getting this and learning a new technology. So. Oculus Quest 2. It's my first time ever using something like this before. This is from Facebook. For those of you who are new to uh, virtual reality like me, this has 256 gigabytes. We're going to unbox it, take a look at it, so let's get started. There it is. The Oculus Quest 2. All right, so now we're going to pull everything out of the box. Here you get hand grips, so you get two hand grips. The touch controller in our hand, and we're going to remove this right here because this is actually a alkaline battery. And so you can see this here has an alkaline battery. Once the battery's already had the tab pulled, you can see when you push the button that this will now work. A B button. You have your joystick, and you have your Oculus button. Alright, so as you can see in the user's manual, it does have the touch controller uh, menu here in the guide. This here is the left gouge, so you can see. One is the action buttons, so you have the action buttons. Two is the actual thumbstick, which you can see all of that. And you have the menu button, okay, that's right here. And you have the trigger right here. And you have the other trigger right there. Can you guys see that? And then you have uh, just the whole menu right here. So if you have any questions, you can just go right in the user guide and it'll tell you. Okay, so as you can see, you have the left controller here, which you'll know by the L, and the right controller right here. I have my wrist straps on. You can tighten them as you see fit. If they're too loose or too tight, but the main purpose of those is so these don't fall out of your hand. If I need to tighten it, just slide it down. And in the box, you're going to have these uh, glass spacers. So these are glasses spacers. Yeah, so you can also adjust these uh, depending on how blurry it is for your vision. They're a little bit tight, but that's a good thing. But you can see there's two, there's three different settings. So um, try not to put your hands on the goggles, on the actual lenses, and then um, try it on. Now it's not going to be charged, so you're going to have to charge it before you get it. But you know you want to make sure it fits and it's comfortable, and so that's obviously going to come with time. And then you know. <laughs> Right now it's dark, but I'm gonna charge it and we'll see how this uh, ends up looking. So as you can see, this uh, comes off like that. It's just a little uh, cardboard piece of paper. And then we'll open up this box here. All right, so as we're opening this up, you have the uh, user's manual right here. We'll put that right here. And then you have the uh, charging cable and the port. So there you go. This end right here, you can see there's the charging port. And it's a USB-C. You have, uh, you're successfully charging it because you'll see this little light here. And like I mentioned earlier, there's an app for this. So if you go into the user manual, you can download it right here. They have it on Android and Apple. So there's the QR code, you just take your camera and scan that. And then once you have the app, you'll see it's asking you to log in, create your account, and then look at your headset for the five digit code and enter it here. So right here, once you've charged it, you hold this button and I, it takes about three to five seconds, you hold it and then it turns on, it'll tell you how much uh, it's charged and then you'll see it come up and it'll show you the, the commands for the actual Oculus uh, toggle controllers. So I'm putting in my code here. There you go. So back to the unit. Once you have the five digit code entered, you will toggle up to the blue arrow and you will hit these buttons right here. Okay. And so as you're doing that, you'll select your English language. 
I mean to stay seated while we do the setup. So I'm now in here and it's asking me for my Wi-Fi network. So if you find it to be easier to connect on your phone, you can go ahead and find your network and it'll connect on your phone or you can try and do it with the Oculus. But if you're a first time user, you may find it easier to just do it right through the app. Now you have a whole bunch of things. Oh, it's asking me if I want to turn on notifications. I'm going to say no, not now. So as I'm in here, you can see you've got all types of different games. You're going to want to connect your financial information, your card. Some of them are actually free though. Look at that. They got a free one. That one's $16.99. So depending upon the game, there's various prices right here in the app for you to play. Okay, so once you've got it all adjusted, your head strap, and you put it on and it fits just right here. And now I'm right in here and uh, I'm pretty much ready to get started. Okay, so after I've done that, it's taken me through a safety tutorial guideline here, which you guys can review on Oculus's website. There is a little bit of a learning curve that makes it quite interesting, but this is certainly fun. And so after you've accepted the terms for the uh, Oculus agreement, uh, it'll restart the headset, which it's doing right now. So now that it's the headset is paired su successfully, it's now uh, updating the left controller and then uh, it's moving pretty fast. It looks like it'll take about a minute depending on how fast your Wi-Fi is and then it'll do the right controller. So if this is your first time to Urban J Reviews, this channel, please do like the video if you enjoyed this tutorial and also subscribe to this channel as we continue to show you what we're doing here. If you're anything like me, while you were updating your controller, after it got done updating my left controller, it said that I uh, was it was unable to connect, uh, and it said I needed to remove the battery or contact Oculus support. But it looks like, in spite of what it said, it still works. So that was a uh, error that message that it gave me, and it actually fixed itself on its own. So right now it's asking me to define the play area. So you're going to want an area where there's nothing really in here um, that's obstructing you. So that's what I've got going on right here. And so now I'm going to use this to draw. So it's asking me to draw an area. So now it's asking me to confirm my guardian boundary. So it's saying to, to try it, turn your head in a different direction. There we go. Okay. So you look like that, you look like that, and you push the button, and that resets your view. And then you can come over here and continue. That's if you wanted to look at it from over here. If you wanted to look at it over here, you would do the exact same thing. So you would push the Oculus button and tell it to identify you right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to change direction of the Oculus screen. So in order to do that, I'm going to look in the direction that I would like the screen. So if I want the screen to be right over here, I'm going to look in that direction and then I'm going to push on the right side the Oculus button. I'm going to hold it and now the screen is over here. So because I've got the screen where I want it, I'm now going to push the Oculus button and hold it. And I'm going to click the Oculus button now. All right. Wow. Oh my God. This is crazy. Holy boy. Are you filming me? Filming me? Filming me? Crazy. Whoa. Whoa. They've set me up in total 360 degrees. I literally feel like I'm in another world. I've got palm trees. I'm inside like this dome, this like dome, and it's got like a fan here, and then right here is this incredible view. It's like, it looks like a mix between Hawaii and like Monument Valley in Arizona, and that's like what I see, and there's like balloons in the sky, and there's palm trees on all sides. But where I'm actually standing right here, it's like if I walk over here, I wonder how I could walk over there. There's like a room there, and then there's like a balcony here, like a huge balcony. And then over here is like a seating area, and then there's like sofa couches like right over here. Really cool environment they've got here. Like this is unbelievable. So it's a tutorial. Okay, so I'm in a tutorial. The first steps. So I'm going to hit first steps, and now I'm transitioning out of my dream world that I was just in right there. I'm in a whole nother environment. Oh my gosh, where am I? I mean like, for those of you who've been to Disney, it kind of looks like Pandora in here right now. It looks like I'm underwater and there's a huge whale like going over my head, like a 3D whale. Tall tower area. And this is unbelievable what I'm seeing right now. It's like, I literally feel like I'm in this environment. There's like a 
bunch of hot air balloons now like flying over me with sailboats down here like I'm on a dock. In front of me, from what I can remember, was the screen. So let's see where I'm at. Time to learn about your Oculus Touch controllers. Now, try pressing all the glowing buttons with your thumbs. Okay, so it's asking me to touch all the glowing buttons with my thumbs. So I'm going to... Let's see what my virtual hands can do. They're glowing and they're shaking. And now I have my hands right here. Now I'll push a button. Oh, how do I? So you touch these buttons to pick it up, not this one. Okay, let's try that again. Whoa. How about I throw it? Yep, I just threw it. I'm going to really see how far it goes. Oh, that was a bad throw. Chuck it. Oh my gosh, I just threw it. Oh, where did I throw it? Okay, cool. Hold grip with middle finger to grab. So this is my middle finger on that, right? So now I'm gonna grab an airplane. I got an airplane in my hand. It's a little paper airplane, I'm gonna throw it. Oh, that one crashed. Give me another one to throw. So it says, hold grip with middle finger to grab. So I'm gonna let it go. I'm going to release my middle finger as I want to release. There we go. That went really far. And it's got me with a rocket in another hand. What's this going to do? Oh my god. There's a rocket. I just shot a rocket in the sky. It's going to have me. Like I was saying, who needs to go to Disneyland or Universal Studios when you have all of it inside this headset? Like you literally, this is like as good as Disney World or Disneyland or Universal Studios in terms of the VR. So, um, just so you guys know that you're in your little area that you've set up before on the floor, which is like basically four feet circumference. If I was to step out of that, once I step out of that, all of a sudden I could see in like a, a black and white kind of setting what's around me. So see how this would be very addicting and um, just be warned, it's going to be addicting. Like, uh, I can see how when you give this gift to your kids, it's very, very addicting. So, <laughs> hope that helps you guys. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, we're going to do more Oculus because this is a fun uh, thing here. So, stay tuned to this channel uh, if you guys like Oculus and Oculus reviews. But this is part one. We also do other reviews on this channel of other things. But, hey, cool toy right here. See you guys.